window, sun, window, sun. It's not that difficult, people. Figured I'd maybe do just a quick little tour of our chicken coop. So I built this, one of the first things I built on the homestead. And uh, here's my, when I built it in 2013, its eggs were 250 a dozen, and I thought we'd have hyperinflation. So not quite yet, but kind of funny. I'm not wrong, I'm just fashionably early. But this is eight feet by 12 feet has a door on the north side, two ventilation windows, small windows, sliders. So in the summertime, those stay open all the time. Tin roof, venting. It's essentially a two by six construction. It's like to building code. This is how a house is built. But uh, then they just have a small chicken run. <coughs> oh, there. and one big south-facing window. Now I can pick this shed up with the skid steer forks and move it around. I've moved it probably four times since I built it, but a little chicken run so the foxes and skunks can't get at them. Weasels, they're still the odd problem. But today it's minus 30 out. Uh, feels cooler, but a nice sunny day. And I go in here. The camera doesn't fog up. Whew. Toasty. Hi, guys. So there's no heater in here. It's just R20 walls, OSB, uh, R40 in the attic. A little bit of moisture, just poly up there. It does get a little humid in here, but their little chicken door is open all the time, so they'll go out and come back in at their leisure. But they're roosts, they can sun themselves in front of the, uh, the window. And then I had these out of an old school, uh, these lockers. And uh, that's their, where they lay their eggs. I blocked off the bottom ones because it's hard for us to reach in there to get eggs. But uh, yeah, pretty simple. So. But so minus 30 degrees Celsius outside. That window is just actually a single pane window. One of the panes broke on uh, this crappy old window I got back way back when. Hey girl. Uh, but their water isn't frozen. I gave them water, I guess, this morning. Yeah, uh, maybe seven in the morning I did the chore or something. It is mid afternoon now. Minus 30 outside, and no uh, freezing of the water. They're just eating some food, but always give them fresh straw. One thing I should do is uh, put a red, or a, not a red, but a light bulb in so to fool them that the days are longer so they lay a little bit better. But uh, yeah. So, pretty simple. And uh, so from the sun, passive solar design, and the chickens themselves give off some heat. It stays nice in here. And with that door open all the time, it doesn't get overly humid in here. Like a little bit of frost on the window just because it's so cold, a one pane window. Uh, but nice and light in here. Frost on all these windows. Um, I guess a little bit of frost up there. So it does get a little bit humid, but uh, not not like a closed up thing uh, where the chickens will have problems. So so that's, that's the chicken coop. And a uh, few things I would have changed would be less nesting boxes. Maybe did that a little bit different, and then you get the odd egg-eating chicken. 
uh, if we don't get to picking the eggs at a regular time and they're exposed, some of these white ones would would be some egg eaters in here. So that's a pain. So if you could design something that when they lay an egg, uh, it the egg's protected or it rolls down a cage or something and you could pick the eggs from the outside. So maybe just nesting boxes, two layers for a chicken coop this size instead of three and on both sides because we do have to go looking around for eggs. And then a way to collect them outside when it's safe. But but uh, eggs overnight in minus 30 will freeze. But during the day, no additional heat, no electricity, uh, no freezing, right? So n never frozen eggs unless you forget or miss one. And overnight, yeah. But we also let, this is kind of nice, uh, we'll let some hens in the spring or whatever go uh, broody. So they'll just sit on an egg in here for 20 something days and naturally hatch them. And we've got really good success rate just letting a hen, like one of our nice heritage ones or something, uh, sit on eggs and, and hatch them. So. For uh, chicken feed, we just store different types of grains. Out here is all we do right now. So we, you know, three times a week or something, I give them some grains mixed with some layer ration, like commercial actual chicken chicken feed. Uh, like this stuff. Just to kind of supplement, but every day they get uh, um, our table scraps and things. And then with our three little kids, we have a lot of scraps, food our kids didn't eat, like oatmeal uh, in the morning, they get that. Weeds out of the greenhouse, you know, carrot tops, things like that out of the greenhouse. So the greenhouse works well with uh, chickens and stuff too. And they're healthier because of all those scraps. So it's not super overly com complicated. It's just a well-built, well-insulated shed with ventilation windows, small ones on the north and a big window on the south of the building. So just a big window in the middle there, the chicken door underneath it that's wide open all the time. Even at night, we just leave it open. And uh, a, a little different than a passive solar house uh, at a passive solar house, I'd have a bigger overhang to not let any summer sun in. But because this is just a chicken coop, it's open all the time. And the north windows all summer are open. It doesn't really matter. A little bit of uh, sun can come in. But uh, yeah, it's as simple as that. The sun is over there. And it comes in the window. That's all you need for a chicken coop. Now, when we do our bigger barn, our barn is going to be also well insulated and have a separate area for chickens and a bigger area so we can have more chickens in there as well, uh, meat birds as well as laying hens and maybe separate it so our different laying hens, like silkies or heritage breeds or the white leghorns or whatever, kind of cordoned off in their own things. But but for a first chicken coop on your homestead, it's just, this is all we did and got a ton of eggs off of it. And, you know, besides the little bit of feed, the little bit of grains and the little bit of commercial feed, it's all scraps, free stuff that they eat anyways. They do definitely slow down in the winter when it's this cold. Uh, so one thing I could do is that, that additional uh, light to fool them a little bit. But heating the coop is not good, but uh, having it well insulated and well ventilated. So that little chicken door is open all the time. That is important or it gets too stuffy in there and humid in there. So uh, And if you did heat it, also that's not good for an animal either. So... There's people in, you know, parts of the United States, like we're in Saskatchewan, Canada, that are concerned that, oh, should I get my little chickens sweaters because it's going to get to freezing? Or what do you do? Are they going to be okay in zero Celsius, right, freezing? Well, it feels like minus 37 Celsius today. 
and our chickens are just fine, right? They wouldn't survive just outside or in a little shelter, I don't think. They do need good bedding, and uh, they do need a decent insulated structure somewhere to go, and that a passive solar shed like this is is perfect. So, all right, thanks for watching. We'll catch you next time. Window, sun, window, sun.